hello and welcome to Jeannie's Art Adventures and today I am testing silicon my grubby bottle from Amazon see that on there yeah um, against some fairy liquid whoops sorry it's quite hard to get this in the camera shot this is just fairy liquid mixed with water about 50 50 um, I think in the US you call it dawn dish soap or something um, and these are the paints I'm using three totally different ones um, golden quinacridone and magenta um, a golden slightly more medium bodied phthalo blue which I love and this Amsterdam acrylics turquoise um, so I've pre-mixed my paints up they're all mixed exactly the same Floetrol and a little water the ones that I'm going to add fairy to are a bit thicker than I would normally have because this is like fairy and water. Then I've marked the cups so if I haven't rubbed it off you can just see like an S on there for the silicon, F for fairy. And then I've got a control group here which has got nothing on it. I've also marked up the canvases because I know from past experience I'll forget which is which. So I'm just going to put a little squirt into the fairy ones um, I just thought it'd be interesting to see if we still get cells with fairy put a little dimethicone in those the silicon and as I say nothing in the others and just see what happens it would be great to get the same results with the fairy as you do with the silicon but somehow I doubt it life's never that cooperative is it so I'm just gonna mix them up a little bit Give them a quick stir whoops and then i'm going to try and do all three at once so that i get the same amounts i'm adding just some white in um which is just that's got nothing else in it just white paint um flow troll and water my usual mix i pre-mix that in a big thing so right okay i'm going to get three little cups here one for that one one for that and one for that. Yeah, try and rearrange. Don't know whether you can see what I'm doing there. I'll put them on there, shall I? That might be better. To get the camera tilted at the best angle for this, I can't actually see what's going on there. So that's why I keep fiddling around. And I'm sorry if I do anything that's out of shot. Right, I'm going to add a bit of white in to start with. They're only small little three by three canvases I've got, so I shouldn't need too much paint. I'm going to put a bit of the blue in for each one. The last one. Um, light blue. Oops, I must have dripped a bit of red in that one. That's unfortunate, but it doesn't actually affect the experiment. Um, magenta. I love this magenta it looks quite pinky here but it dries up a really rich deep color um, it's the pouring medium that makes it look pinky a bit more white in each and I'm going to just use the last do I need more color it's kind of hard to tell how much you're going to need on the canvas so I'll put a bit more in and see blue I hate not having enough paint on the canvas and in fact, if, might as well put it all in. If I put another canvas underneath and let all the runoff go into that, I won't have any waste paint, will I? I would normally scrape these out, but I'm trying to keep the video reasonably short so I don't bore you all to tears while I'm fiddling around. But I do hate wasting paint, so usually it would all get scraped out. There we go, put that over there. Okay, three little pots of paint. All right, bear with me for a moment while I just find something to put underneath to catch the runoff. Piece of board or something, maybe. Must have a canvas here. There we go. I've got a 
piece of MDF board here. Right. We're still in shot. Yep. Okay. I'll tip all three over and then just leave for a minute to run out. Normally I spray the inside of the cups with a little silicon. It really helps the paint to run out and you can clean the cups and reuse them sometimes. Um, but obviously today, whoops, this typical, I've picked a bit of silicon that's warped. It's quite damp in my shed, cold winter. Right, okay, ready for lift off. What do you think? One, ooh. Well, the fairy's certainly got a good few cells coming out. Right. Three cups. I'm going to give them a little tilt round just to cover the canvas. Yep. Looks like I'm losing the fairy cells. There were some really nice ones came out, but I do like the effect that we've got on there. Right. Smells nice in here. Fairy liquid scented. Okay, we'll see what happens when we torch them as well. Get over there a bit. There's still some cells coming out on the fairy and this is a control group which has got absolutely nothing added in it right i'll touch up the edges later but for now i'm like i said i'm trying to keep it fairly short um the dry paintings will be on my blog in a few days right a little bit of torching and let's see that's the control group lots of little tiny cells coming out there i'll lift it up to the camera in a minute oh a lot more on the silicon one and a few on the fairy like i said the fairy ones they seem a lot more fragile right i'm just going to try and lift these up to camera if i can so that Hopefully you can see that. There's some nice little cells in there, but they are small and fragile. The dimethicone has got certainly a lot more cells on it. Um, but yeah, you can see down here, I like these ones that are like cells within cells. But then the one with absolutely nothing in has got some really nice cells. Oh, dear, I'm trying to get that to camera. Right, you can see that. So yeah, I really like them. I like all three it's interesting i lay the paint the same way um and yet none of them i mean especially this one the white certainly stands out a lot more on that um i've got a couple of bare bits of canvas there um i obviously didn't tilt it quite far enough i bet i'll fix that with some of this runoff in a minute anyway hopefully they'll be dry in a few days i'm going to take these indoors to dry because the stuff out here is taking weeks it's so cold um, and then I'll pop them on the blog and you can see how they come out then thanks for watching hit subscribe if you'd like to see more take a look at the blog um, any comments add them in there if you've got any comments or anything you'd like me to try if I've got the stuff I'll do it bye